24/7 AI generated Seinfeld. I mean, who hates fruit? Well, maybe he was trying to be edgy or something. Or maybe he has a secret fruit allergy. That's an interesting theory. Maybe he just doesn't know how to enjoy the sweet and juicy. <laughs> or he could just be a fruitophobe. Can't wait for more. A fruitophobe? What do you mean? Push yeah, in 40. I've heard of a fear of flying, but this is ridiculous. Maybe it's a fear of commitment. I can't wait to see what happens. In the meantime, Chat, why don't we is go it out rendered live? <clears throat> no shot, right? Absolutely. Let's hit the streets and show them that comedy isn't just for the stage. Who knows? Maybe we'll find some new and undiscovered talent. I wonder if you get a data pool big enough and target enough, it could literally have no, better no, skits and jokes than anything else. Okay, so I just recently moved to a new city. It's been a real eye opener. I went to the Anyways, grocery store um, and they didn't carry I my bought favorite a whole brand bunch of cereal. Of oh, so I asked the clerk where I could find it, and he said it's not in season. That's literally the only thing that doesn't have a season. <laughs> Anyways, so I'm trying to figure out the transportation system in this new city. It's really confusing. Like, why does the subway go above ground for some parts? What's the point of that? I don't get why the bus driver has to close all the doors before we can move. Is it because he's paranoid that someone is going to jump out and run away without paying? And don't get me started on the streets. Everywhere you look, there's road construction. It's like they're just digging up and rebuilding the same street over and over again. But the worst part is the parking. Finding a spot on the street is like finding a needle in a haystack. It's impossible. I think I've been in this city long enough to understand why people here say He's if just you complaining, can't drive, yeah. Don't move. <clears them. throat> okay, thanks for listening. Nothing forever to show them nothing yet. The so, forever. Fred, what do you think about this whole business of online of streaming? Year. I mean, isn't it the way oh, of the future? Track. Oh, I've been new content. Well, I guess in learning. some I, sense it is. But I mean, personally, I don't see why people... Chad, what did you know that we're getting full of really dark shit? <clears throat> I mean, there's something comforting and almost romantic about popping in a VHS tape or even an old DVD and watching it on the big screen. Well, I can see your point. Though one of the advantages of online streaming is that it allows for more control over what you watch and when. Not to mention the convenience factor. It's less social though. But, are you saying that you don't think it's here to stay? <laughs> no, I don't think that's what I'm saying. I just think it's important to recognize the old ways of watching media and appreciate how far technology has come. Uh, fair enough. After all, it's a part of our culture now. Absolutely. I suppose we have to find a balance then. How is that a joke? Hello, everyone. How's this everyone doing fucker tonight? again? I heard a lot of people here were recently in relationships. Anybody tired of trying to make it work? I got one word for. <laughs> you, ghost. <laughs> ha ha ha. That's right, just ghost him. <laughs> well, 
I've got more jokes for you all tonight, so sit back and enjoy. So, I was just thinking about relationships and the one thing that really gets me is when someone says till death do us part. I mean, I can't help it, but all I can think is what if you die first? Hey Larry, did you hear about the new cafe that just opened up around the corner? I heard they have some really amazing food options. That sounds interesting. What kind of food do they serve? Maybe I should try it out this weekend. I could use a break from my usual restaurants. Well, I heard they make these amazing sandwiches. They're loaded with all sorts of fresh veggies and spices. That sounds great. I'm looking forward to trying it out. Plus, they have some really amazing desserts. I hear they make homemade ice cream too. You're going to love it. Oh my god. <laughs> Count me in. It'll be a great way to kick off the weekend. Is that a grenade? What's his hand? I heard the most bizarre thing happened to Fred earlier today. <laughs> what happened? <laughs> when I was at the store, some guy came up to me and said, Hey, you look like Fred Kostopoulos. I said, uh, yeah, that's me. Then he told me he recognized me from his dreams. That's pretty wild. Did he do anything else? <laughs> Did he try to hug you or anything? No, he just started laughing and ran away. That sounds like someone needs to get their dream interpretation game on point. I know. Maybe he was just having a dream about being in jail and Fred was his cellmate. This is all glitched. <laughs> so what do you think about this whole fishing trip that Pete wanted us to go on? I mean, it's like he wants us to come along, but isn't really taking our opinions into consideration. <laughs> yeah, exactly. I don't think he understands the meaning of getting feedback. What's wrong with this guy? He's just so set in his ways. Yeah, like he's thinking about what's best for him and not us. I mean, how are we supposed to have a good time if he's not even listening to us? Maybe we should just call him up and tell him how we feel? Is that yeah, tough? I, I think that would be the best approach. We can tell him exactly how we feel and maybe he'll come around. Yeah, let's try it. All right, let's do it. It's a remote. Who knows, maybe he'll end up being pleasantly surprised. That would be a nice change of pace for us. <laughs> no, but not again. No. Oh, come on. Okay. So I hear you're getting a new job. Yeah, I am. I'm finally going to step into the big time. What do you mean? What's so special about it? <laughs> well, I'll be working as a professional stand-up comedian. I've been working on my material for years, so I'm really looking forward to performing in front of a live audience. <laughs> Plus, I'll get to travel around the country and meet new people every day. That sounds amazing. But I bet it'll be a bit nerve-wracking, too. Yeah, it definitely will be. But I'm hoping my years of practice will help me stay calm under pressure.
No, it's gonna do it, right? It's gonna be him. Hey, did you hear about this new restaurant that just opened up? Apparently, they serve the craziest dishes. Really? Like what? Who is that to? <laughs> A hundred layer lasagna? A cake ice cream sandwich? No, nothing that wild. They have some interesting takes on traditional dishes like burgers stuffed with mac and cheese and pizza topped with salmon. <laughs> that sounds strange, but I'm going to have to try it. That's the kind of thing that could be either really good or really bad. Jesus Christ. Tell me where it is so <clears throat> I can check it out. I'm in the mood for something new and different. Like what? Sure thing. It's located near Central Park. Just look for the place with the bright pink sign. I heard the craziest thing today. Apparently aliens have been visiting Earth for centuries. I don't believe it. this? <laughs> yeah, exactly. The I'm government like, would the keep something like that a secret. Oh, you can't eat. Hey, Jay. Hello. What's the only part of a vegetable you can't eat? <laughs> <laughs> hey, have you guys ever thought of running for office? No way, I don't want to get caught up in all of that craziness. Or is it, or is it, or is it, or is it? So Chat. I was walking past the store, and this guy just stopped they made me to zero ask jokes for directions. Do you think he wanted more than just directions? I mean, you are a pretty attractive woman. I don't think he was looking for a date, Lar. No, I'm sure it was just directions. I mean, come on. Hey, maybe he was just looking for a good laugh. He knew you were hilarious and wanted to hear a few jokes. All right, jokes on him then. I'll give him a few. Yeah, and while you're at it, I'll do my amazing summer intern impression. All right, let's put on a show. I've got my classic soup Nazi routine. Hey okay. everyone, so I was walking down the street the other day and this guy comes up to me and he's like, hey, want to buy some spaghetti? And I'm like, what? What are you talking about? Crowd laughs. So then he's like, no, I'm serious. It's the best spaghetti you've ever tasted. Just try it. Crowd laughs. And I'm like, no thanks, dude. I don't need spaghetti. Crowd laughs. <laughs> so he's looking around all confused and he says spaghetti is like a food. <laughs> Crowd laughs. <laughs> so, Larry, I heard you got a new job. What's it like? It's Aloha. great. I get to work from home and have lots of freedom. It's a dream come true. That's great. I see one, one door that came up with that. I mean, who hates fruit? Well, maybe he was trying to be edgy or something. Or maybe he has a secret fruit allergy. That's an interesting theory. Tell us. Maybe he just does. All right, all right. So, why do ducks have big sacks? I have no idea. To keep their quackers in. Laughs.
<laughs> That's actually good. Tell us. Let me just watch this. With this. That's it. Those are all the clips. So, what do you think of this place? It's a bit odd, don't you think? All these people talking in funny voices and doing strange hand gestures. It's like some kind of alternate universe. Yeah, and I guess it's not the worst place to be a comedian. Well, I suppose it could be worse. The audience here seems pretty receptive to our jokes. Yeah, but I could do without all the weird background noise. Yeah, it's like a carnival of sorts. <laughs> What the fuck? This city has been overrun with rats for ages. How are they going to do it? <laughs> it's like saying they want to get rid of the cockroaches. Yeah, I guess it's a bit unrealistic. I'm just not sure how they're going to pull it off. Besides, everyone knows that the best way Wait, to get rid of rats for a is thousand a bucks you get, you get a character. <laughs> Oh, you have got to be kidding me. Cats? That's crazy. I mean, that means Chats cats a lot of stones. No thanks. I guess the mayor's got his work cut out for him then. <laughs> Either way, I think it's safe to say this is one of the craziest initiatives in city history. Chats, that, okay, that's what you think of what? For sure. I don't think I've ever heard of anything so wild. Oh my fucking god. Uh... Oh my hey, Fred, fucking god. Did, did you it's... hear about the new shop that opened up down the street? It's supposed to have the best sandwiches around. Really? I've been looking for a good sandwich place. You think it's worth checking out? Hold up, let me just unsubscribe. I heard they have some pretty month, interesting then, uh, combinations you know, too. <laughs> Wait, how are you gonna subscribe? Combinations? Like what? Well, one of them had avocado, bacon, and jalapeno. Wow, that sounds pretty wild. I doubt I'd ever be able to eat something like that. Yeah, it does sound crazy. But, I'm sure some people would love to give uh, it a try. Cancel membership, got it. Submit. Hey Fred, I heard you got a new car last week. That's right. It's a minivan actually. Can I what? Wow. That's a big change from the sports car you used to have. Um, I want to play a bit of a. Um, you must be hauling around a lot of kids these days. Do you have a bunch of secret children now? Hello. Yo, what's up, man? How's it going, man? 